A new poll shows Senator Elizabeth Warren surging and has nearly tied with former Vice President Joe Biden. The poll, PDF, was conducted by YouGov for The Economist, showing Biden, the current frontrunner for the 2020 election, neck and neck with Warren, DeMass, he had 21% support, compared with Warren's 20% support. That's well within the margin of error. National Democratic Primary, Biden 21, minus 1 in a week Warren 20, plus 4 Sanders 16, plus 3 Harris 8, Dash or Arc 5, plus 3 Buttigieg 5, minus 3 Booker 2, plus 1 Gabbard 2, minus 1 Bennett 1 Castro 1 Gillibrand 1 Klobuchar 1 Steyer 1 Williamson 1 Yang 1 at the Economist slash at YouGov HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash WVNJKHHKG7 Political polls, at polling numbers, August 14, 2019 and third was Sen, Bernie Sanders, I Vermont, who had 16%. Senator Kamala Harris, Democrat California, had 8%. Former Texas Rep. Beto O'Rourke had 3%, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg had 5%, Sen, Cory Booker, DNJ, had 2%, Rep. Tulsi Gabbard, Democrat Hawaii, had 2%. Notably, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio received 0% in the poll. Despite the new survey, Biden still has a substantial lead in the real clear politics national average. Democratic presidential candidate former Vice President Joe Biden speaks at the Des Moines Register soapbox during a visit to the Iowa State Fair in Des Moines, Iowa on August 8, 2019. Charlie Nobrigal AP photo, the former Delaware senator is registering 30.3% support, while Warren came in second at 18.5%. Sanders rounding had 17.5% support. Last week, a morning consult slash Politico poll showed Biden had 33% support, Warren had 14%, and Sanders had 20%. Democratic presidential candidates, LR, former Vice President Joe Biden, Sen, Bernie Sanders, I Vermont, and Senator Kamala Harris, Democrat California, take part in the second night of the first Democratic presidential debate in Miami, Florida, on June 27, 2019. Drew anger or slash Getty images. Meanwhile, Monmouth University poll of Iowa voters released over the weekend showed Warren at 19% support, and Sanders only had 9% support. Biden led with 28% in that survey. Sanders' campaign rejected the idea that he's losing support to Warren. We're sort of in the phase called the Bernie write-off, senior advisor Jeff Weaver said on August 12, according to The Hill. There seems to be a direct correlation between the media coverage of the polls and Bernie Sanders' standing in those polls. Democratic presidential hopefuls, from L, author and writer Marianne Williamson, former governor of Colorado John Hickenlooper, attorney and entrepreneur Andrew Yang, mayor of South Bend, Indiana Pete Buttigieg, former Vice President Joe Biden, Sen. Bernie Sanders, Senator Kamala Harris, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, Senator Michael Bennett, Rep. Eric Swalwell, participate in the second Democratic primary debate of the 2020 presidential campaign season hosted by NBC News at the Adrienne Arsch Center for the Performing Arts in Miami, Florida on June 27, 2019. Saw low Bay FP slash Getty Images, polls are one thing, but the energy that is on the ground is most important, Nina Turner, another campaign staffer, said on the call. Let's block ads. Why?